Hello everyone, um, my name is Milton. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, Roasal. So first, uh, what is Roasal? Roasal is an, uh, uh, is an uh, agile visualization engine. That means that you can create a, a great visualization with this, uh, uh, with small talk. Uh, Roasal graphically uh, renders objects using short uh, and expressing small talk expressions. So you can use blocks, you can use all the facilities that Smalltalk uh, provides you to create uh, a, a, good, uh, a good visualization. Uh, this is a fast example. This is a script with, uh, with Roasal. In this script, uh, I am using um, the calendar builder. And with the calendar builder, I want to you know, to create a, a calendar. So with that, uh, I, can, uh, I can say when the date is, uh, for example, the first date of the week, uh, I can put the color red. And uh, what, what dates are, are, are going to visualize? Uh, all the dates of, the, of the this year. So what is the result, for example, uh, for this example, is this calendar. I don't know if you can see in the last... Yeah, so... So, so yeah, if you, if you see, this is a fast way to do that. So Roasal provides a lot of tools that you can use in order to create a fast visualization with small scripts. Uh, how to get uh, Roasal? Well, we have uh, uh, Roasal in the VisualWorks public repository. So you can go uh, to the public repository and download it. Or in, in Faro, you can use the Gopher if you have uh, a, a, a Faro version without Roasal. Or you can use, uh, uh, you can download Moose because Roasal is integrated with Moose. So when you have a Moose image, you have Roasal. Uh, a fast uh, explanation of the components of Roasal. Well, uh, Roasal basically uses uh, uh, RTBU. RTBU is the, 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 the class that, that handles RT elements. For us, um, when you provide your objects, we put that object in RT elements. And these elements has uh, the shape and the structure shape. We use that to render the objects in the, in the display. So RTU also has uh, the tier canvas. The tier canvas has the, the, the shapes that, that we use to, to render these, uh, these objects. That also has the tier morph or in, in Faro or tier visual in VisualWorks. So this is the, the way that we, we handle that. So you can put a Roasa visualization in, in a part of your morph or maybe you can put this uh, your visual part in visual works in a in a in a window. So you can do that. And yeah, but that that, that are the, the the minimal elements that you need to create a visualization. But Russell provides you uh, a lot of builders that uses uh, RT view and elements and shapes in order to create a, a, a new visualizations. Well, I'm going to, to show you a simple demo. Okay, there is a problem with my window. Okay, so in that part, I'm going to create a, a visualization with Wondrian. First, I'm going to create uh, boxes for numbers, one to ten, and I can create now. I can create uh, for one to one thousand, and then I change li the layout. In in this case, I'm going to use now the collection subclass, not, not numbers. 
now each box has a class a class a subclass of collection now i can play with the size of the boxes instead of use uh, that that default size size i can use the, the size of the number of methods so now each box has the number of methods and also i can normalize the color with that with the number of lines of, of code of each class and now i can create lines between these boxes this is the relation to, 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 to represent the relation between the classes in this case the superclass relation but, but this this logic is not uh, good for this visualization so i'm going to use a tree a tree layout now now it's better now it looks better but we can do better so in, instead of uh, use that kind of layout i'm going to use a cluster layout that if you see it this put the elements in other way and instead of use uh, a box i now i use a, a a circle for each shape and now i can create a lot a, another relation i'm going to use uh, the relation between the dependent class so now there are new lines that represents the dependent classes I can create and I sorry I can change the color in this case I'm going to, to use the color blue with an alpha component and now instead of use a straight line I'm going to use a bezier line so I can move and the bezier line I follow the super class and and now uh, thank you for git inspector for that i can click in one element and i see the the class okay so i i going in this case i going to 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 back and create a new visualization in this case i going to introduce new shapes the methods so for each class i going to create new shapes the methods and now the box the big boxes are classes and the small boxes are methods and i can i can change the the layout for that methods and then i can create some rules to that shapes in the case of the the method the number of lines of codes of one method is less than 5 i can put the color green then you can see that and yeah uh, i can put uh, a color orange for more than 5 a color red for more than 10 then the visualization change but it's not easy to read that so i going to sort the methods and this allows me to read more um, better the visualization now okay now it's sorted by the number of lines of code but instead of use a simple box i can use a box with title So now each class has the name has his name in the top of the box. So with JIT inspector you can um, see the method or see the class and inspect the source code. And this is a tool that we use with the uh, objects uh, 
sorry, with the classes and his methods and its methods. And now uh, I am going to create uh, edges, lines between uh, the dependent methods in the, in the class. So now if you see, I, I change the layout for the methods. So now each method refers to dependent method in the class. Okay, so now I'm going to present a first uh, video about uh, the Ruasal. There are a lot of tools that we, we handle in Ruasal. Um, this video shows uh, a user that downloads a, a Moose image and then uh, uses the examples browser of Ruasal. So, uh, put attention because the, the examples are, are very fast.
Okay, so I'm going to present you, um, for example, uh, one example that we have. Uh, this is a visualization from the flights from USA, the commercial flights. So with RASA we can put uh, the location of each airport. And we can divide the areas with Boronoi. So when when we uh, put the mouse over one airport, I can see what are the connection flights. Uh, the, the, the size of the circle is uh, more 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 bigger uh, the, the circle, uh, the airport has more uh, flights. Another work that uh, we are doing is, for example, uh, visual IDs that represents, uh, for example, uh, strings, uh, objects that uh, are similar with another object. For example, hello is similar to hello. This is the object that we create, the visualization. If you see, it's similar to hello, but not, it's not similar to bonjour. What does that mean? Sorry? Uh, how do you create that? that uh, then, then we can talk about that. <laughs> Uh, for example, this is another example that we have. This is, uh, you know, when we work in the network, we, we use uh, these files to represent, for example, uh, the data between the, the computers. But the, this is not uh, easy information that we can handle. But with a parser and then with a visualization, we can understand that this is, is this. So here in this world, you can see the cluster. Each node, uh, it has the, the IP of the computer. In this visualization, you, you can find what are the computers with the most entries. This and this, right? And with an interaction, we can see what are the objects. Uh, sorry, what are the computers? The color green means that that computer is calling to another computer. And the red that is the, this computer is calling to another computer. So yeah, uh, I'm going to close the demos. This is are the users, the data of uh, users that uses Rasal. Uh, Rasal is very simple, but with builders you can create uh, sophisticated uh, visualizations in a fast script, in a fast way. You can use this in a lot of projects. So that is the reason that this is very useful. So I'm going to call for Pair programming, I will be very happy to pair program it. Then, if you have some data that we can visualize, uh, I will be very happy with that. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, done. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have any questions? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, like how does that work? Like, how do you grab that from the board? Okay, there are a lot of there are a paper that you can read because when we use an algorithm to you to to you, to handle an object and then create these clips, we we call of these shapes clips. 
and then uh, we we use this silly uh, example with strings but do, then you can use for example a, a more complicated class cl classes for example so when you when you have the most example you can go to Roasal. There are a lot of projects uh, with uh, Roasal and there are a, a plugin that call it Visual Lee Shapes. You can download it and then you can play with this with this uh, code. Another question? Yeah. Um, no, some examples, but you don't have to show them, but at least to describe what kind of things they are visualizing. Well, for example, most use um, Russell to visualize the the UML structure of the classes, or the package with the tree map builder, or the circular tree map builder. So uh, that that is an example that. That um, that company do which was. Let's say you have another example. Yeah, for example, yes, plan. Because because Rosal and and, uh, and Moose are like very related to it because yeah. they don't deal with architecture and visualization. But what about for example, yes, plan that is making planning on? Sorry. In a kind of a different context. <laughs> Sorry, my, my my answer are reduced. I I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, so, how do we learn? How do you learn? Well, uh, first, um, for developers, uh, it, it's easy. You go to to the workspace, uh, sorry, to the Fortis menu, and then you can find the Russell examples. In Russell examples, there are all of the examples of the video. This is the first step, so you can see the example that you like it. This is the visualization, that this is the, the source code. So you can see the source code, and then you can play, you can then uh, modify the attributes, and then you can see the elements that we have, you know, you can play with these examples. The, this is a catalog of the things that we have. It's the easiest example to start with. Imagine yes. I am a student. Yes. Which is the one that you choose to learn yeah. to use Rosa? Yeah, you can, you can use this, or the, there is a book that uh, Alexander, uh, the, the Bergel is, is uh, doing in this time is uh, Agile Visualization. So that, that, that book is going to be released the next year. So. Sorry? Ah. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> it depends. It depends on what do you like. In my case, I like some burst. I start with that. And then you can see the code. And this is the code for that, for do that. And you know, you can change the code and start with that. Thank you.